G'day cocktail lovers. I have a new barrel. Over the last year I bought three barrels and there is a popular opinion because it's a correct opinion you lose the oakiness of the barrel after a few uses. Now I'm not strictly speaking using these to age spirits which is where you really want the oakiness so I think I may be okay because I keep aging cocktails in them and the flavors of the other cocktails influence the ones that go forward but Science, I thought I'd do an experiment. I got a brand new one. It uh, is currently filled with water. That's the first thing you have to do when you get a new barrel. Fill it with water so the wood absorbs the water and the staves expand a little and become watertight. Eventually, it can take two, three days, maybe even a week of refilling it with water. You might be able to see an obvious wet stain there around the spigot that uh, was a tiny bit of leakage coming out, so it's being absorbed. So I'll be topping this up with more water. And my plan after leaving water in it until there's no more leakage is I'll probably season it using something like port or maybe even sherry to get some flavor into the wood. Leave that in for a week or so. Then it's going to be ready for my core experiment. And I think I'll keep it simple. It will probably be a whiskey, old fashioned, uh, aged in this new barrel, and then also in one of my older barrels. And then after three, four weeks, I'll decant and I'll do a taste comparison and I'll decide uh, which is better. So in other words, it will be a decision of, do I need to replace my barrels every six months or so? We shall see. But that's only half of why I brought you here today. From the same vendor, I got a Whiskey Aficionado's gift pack. <laughs> this is something they had left over from Christmas. I think they made up a bunch of these gift packs for Christmas. Uh, they didn't sell them all, so they went, oh, you know what? The ones we got left, we're gonna sell cheap. So me, loving a bargain, got it. And it's got some very fun stuff in it. Let me share with you well. A whiskey tasting glass, that's going to come in handy. And I actually have a whis an Australian whiskey tasting flight. This has a straight rye from the Gospel Distillery, which I have had before. Uh, I have another one of their ryes. I might do another video where I compare. Uh, the Tannist from Chief Sun Distillery here in Victoria. I do have another one of their whiskies, but not this one. So again, it'd be fun to compare. And one from uh, Western Australia called Dew Guide, named after a brown snake. So an Australian tasting flight. Hobart whiskey, a Tasmanian whiskey, barbecue sauce. Gonna have to try that. A candle. This is meant to smell like uh, peated whiskey. Holy free holy. This is not even lit. It really smells of peat. Well, if there's ever a room that I really want to infuse with peat, uh, this will be the candle. I have a pre-made Manhattan cocktail from the Everly Bottling Company. A quite well-known bar in Melbourne has put these out. So hey, why don't I put my tasting glass to use? Not really the sort of glass I'd usually serve a Manhattan in, but it's what I have. Mmm, smells good. Oh wow, that's... That's a good Manhattan. They've used a good vermouth in that. I don't think they let their secret out. Oh no, they used Koki sweet vermouth. Bitters. Ah, oh, it's rye whiskey. I thought it had uh, a bit more flavour than a lot of uh, whiskey... Manhattans would have. Mmm, this is pretty good. I'll be enjoying this. Another one from Tasmania. This is a sweet chili whiskey jam. More for the kitchen, a whiskey mustard. And a final one for the kitchen, whiskey preserved apricots. I'm going to have to try all of these things for the kitchen. I'm trying to guess which will have the most intense flavor and then have them in reverse order. So from least intense to more intense. So the taste isn't spoiled. I'm gonna try with the apricots. The light whiskey aroma mostly smells like honey. Okay, I don't know that I'm really tasting whiskey. That's really yummy though. I'm a big fan of barbecue sauce, so I'm going to try that next. Again, this smells more like barbecue sauce than whiskey, but there's a faint whiskey aroma. What's it taste like? That is really good. Again, not sure. There's a little whiskey taste in there. It's gonna taste good on a barbecue though. Now for the mustard, I'm not a big mustard eater, but I'm going to try it. Again, this is more mustard than whiskey, but give it a quick taste. Ooh, 
Oh, that is really pleasant. It's sweeter than the average mustard. That might be the whiskey. Go well on a burger. Saved for last the one that I thought would be the most intense flavour, the sweet chilli jam. Ooh, I'm feeling like this would be a good cocktail ingredient, actually. Oh, the chilli comes at you late. I was about to say, that's not even that hot. It's just beautiful and sweet and a bit fruity and whoop, there's the chilli. It definitely has chilli in it. <coughs> oh god, still tasting that chilli. Well, there you go. I'm going to finish off my Manhattan. Just thought I'd share uh, a fun little treat I got for myself and I will update you on the barrels as well. Given what I need to do, that might actually take a couple of months. We'll see how long it takes. Uh, until I see you again, cheers. <laughs>